Hey there, welcome to Berdu.id channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about why some users encounter this message when they're trying to access certain websites and how to fix this problem. Generally, this message has nothing to do with the website that you're trying to access or you might have disabled the automatic update for your Windows. Another possible reason is the Windows version that you are using might not be genuine. Eventually, all the reasons above lead to the main cause of the problem, which is an expired security certificate. Because when the operating system is genuine and is up to date, it will renew the outdated stuff through the Windows update. So what we can do is manually add the certificate into the system. I'll show you how. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. First things first, we will have to download the new certificate. Now it's a bit tricky, but I'll show you an easy way to get the file. We'll go to berdu.id, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and then click download certificate. I'm also going to put this link in the description box below. Click download anyway, and then open the start menu on your windows. Then we're going to search this keyword MMC. Yes. Then we'll go to File, Add or Remove Snap-in. We'll find the Certificate Snap-in. Click Add. Here we're going to choose Computer Account. Next, Finish. OK. Double-click on Certificates. I'm going to drag this divider here to enlarge the space so we can read the folder names better. Open the Trusted Root Certification folder here. Click Certificates. So what we need to do is delete this certificate here named DST Root CAX3. Normally, Windows Update will delete this file, but it's still here since my system has not been updated for quite a while. So I'm going to right-click on this DST Root CAX3 file here, click Delete, and make sure you do not delete the wrong certificate. It has to be DST root CAX3. Yes. Now we can finally add the certificate we've downloaded from berdu.id. So right click here, all task, import, and then browse the computer to find the downloaded file. Usually the downloaded files will be in the downloads folder, but if it's not there, try to find it in your usual download location. So I'm going to select the new certificate. Next, finish. All right, as we can see here, the import was successful. Now I'm going to close this program and then visit the site which shows the not private connection message earlier. So the page is still not accessible. What we have to do is to close this browser, reopen it, and then try to access the website once more. You can finally access the website without the cert date invalid message. We hope you find this video helpful. Please comment down below if you have succeeded trying this or if you have any other questions. We would really, really appreciate it if you could hit the like button. And again, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.